Hey guys, what's going on? So from our last video, someone messaged me and said, well, Brennan, it's pretty easy to solder wire. Have you ever tried soldering EL wire? And if you're familiar with EL wire and you want to know how to add plugs onto it or extend it or shorten it, you can skip the next part of this video. But if you're not familiar with EL wire, shame on you, because you should be. Uh, EL wire is this really cool colored wire. It's super affordable. And if you give it power, it lights up like this. Or you see better here. It, it looks like that and you can change different modes and it's run by this little driver over here which takes double A batteries. So this is used in all sorts of things like festivals and parties. It's used in ambient lighting for housing, someone's cars, entire dance routines on America's Got Talent is based around this exact stuff. It looks great during the day, but it looks even better at night. Eel wire comes in around 10 different colors, so it allows you to get super creative with it. But enough about this wire, let's see how we can solder it. All right, so most of the time when we want to solder EL wire, what we're talking about is we're adding plugs to the end. When you cut it, you need to be able to add a plug so that you can connect the driver. It looks something like this with AA batteries. We've got our heat shrink, um, our soldering iron obviously, and I've got a piece of blue EL wire. So first thing we need to do, as always, we need to take the first sheath off here. Inside EL wire, there is three wires, a center core, and then two very thin wires as well. The, the outer colored sheath comes off. Underneath that, we will have a transparent sheath that contains our copper core and our two other wires. Uh, I call these two other wires because it's basically, basically just the two neutral wires. The copper core is coated in phosphorus. That's why the two of them never touch. First we take this off. Okay, as you can see, once the, once the blue is off, we have we are left with this sheath here. And this sheath is basically a transparent sheath uh, or transparent wire that underneath this contains our, our, our two wires we're gonna be soldering. I'm just gonna take a little bit more off. All right, I'm gonna take this off. Now this part we have to be really, really, really careful of. This is basically where a lot of guys make the most mistakes. Perfect. So underneath here, we've got our main copper line and then we have this wire and that wire. See that? So those two small wires we're basically gonna just put together Twist them around so they stay next to each other. Just be very gentle about it because the more you bend them, the more chance we're going to break them off. Um, this process can be done with copper tape. There's a very common tutorial made by Adafruit where it allows us to do this with copper tape. However, copper tape is not that easy to find. So I'm going to show you how to do it without copper tape, which is the way I do it because I, don't, I can't find that stuff anyway. We're going to coat the thin wires first. Can't really see that, but there you can see it perfectly coated. Now this copper core here is white because it contains, it's covered in phosphorus. So you want to take that phosphorus off first. You can just use a side cutter or a blade to get that done. Cool. Looks good. Now we want to tin this copper core. Cool. So both are now coated. Now we move on. We now we move on to the plug. Again, strip the insulation and tin both wires. Okay, done. We use our best friend's heat shrink to get this done. We're just gonna make sure that the heat shrink is long enough to go over both. So we've got one there, we put it on the other side. Remember, we need them on both because they can't touch. If they touch, then, well, it shorts out and doesn't work, so. Now, all we need to do is solder these on. 
But before we do that, once we solder these on, we need to secure it with maybe a another piece of heat shrink over both joints. So I've got a thicker piece of heat shrink here in front of me. I'm gonna slide it over it. Once these two are tightened uh, or shrunken, then I will slide the larger one over both of them. So let's do that real quick. Now we solder these onto here. So now nice solder. And then we do the more trickier one. Perfect. Slide this over here, right to the base. Slide this over here, right to the base. So that make sure these two wires don't ever touch each other after the heat shrink has gone over. So we can push those right down to the tip there like that. And we can use a cigarette lighter to wrap these up. Again, I don't have a cigarette lighter. So I'm using this thing. Generally speaking, heat shrink will shrink to half its original size. So when you're sizing heat shrink for your project, you want to make sure that the wires that you have on the heat shrink that you have is double the size of the wire. Okay, then we just slide this last piece over. And again, same process. What you can do is you can also, after you've heated the heat shrink up, you can use some spit just to protect yourself from burning and you can pinch the wire down. All right, so that's secure. That's not really going anywhere. Um, but now let's test if this works. There it is. Add the wire, no problem. For safety measures, what you can also do is you can use a blob of glue, hot glue, to secure that, uh, that joint. Therefore, when you're at parties and you're jumping around, the, the, the cable won't get undone or the plug won't come loose in any way. Great, so if that helped you, I'm super happy. Um, hopefully this gave you some ideas for the next party theme or party outfit or costume. Um, adding plugs to DIY can be tricky, but if this helped, then I'm super happy. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.